Who are you people? Well, um, this is a uh, rather cozy, isn't it? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel and to the cardboard box room. And today. I've got a card opening and it's one of these boxes behind me and it contains one of my favorite Marvel characters. So I'm gonna open that box, hopefully hit an autograph card, a patch card, and maybe some short print inserts. And I'm probably gonna get loads of the characters' names wrong and forget who they are because it was a while ago that I watched it and I'm getting on a bit. So before we get to the crafting mat and open up that lovely, lovely box, why don't you hit the subscribe button and maybe hit the like button if you enjoy the video and why not leave a comment on what your favorite character is from the TV show. So let's get back to the crafting mat. Well, 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 what do we have here? It's a Marvel The Defenders season one trading card set. There are autographs, sketch cards, probably short print parallels, stuff like that. The list goes on according to this paragraph at the back. I'm not going to read it, but you can take a, a screenshot of it there. So let's get into this box. Clearly I'm very late for the TV show out a few years ago if I remember right. Absolutely loved the Netflix Daredevil show, Punisher. Jessica Jones was all right. Iron Fist and Luke Cage, eh, not too bad. And I did enjoy the Defenders. So there we go. Five cards per pack on the front 20 packs it's hoping for a few parallels let's just mix them up a tiny bit my poor lighting will hopefully do wonders for the cards now <laughs> it's probably been a couple of weeks since I opened some packs hopefully we'll get into a bit of a rhythm See if I can work this kind of stuff out before. So, oh, this, these are really stuck, these are kind of stuck together. I have to be really careful with them. Um, it's odd for a relatively new set. Okay. Hope you won't have to do that with every pack. Fifth Avenue. Uh, that one hasn't got a title. I said Fifth Avenue, that's just the street behind it. Um, <laughs> it's going to be interesting, there's Electra on there, and then you've got the Defenders in the lift. So, yeah, it doesn't look like this cards actually have any titles on them. Maybe we'll just have a look when we open the back. See if I can discover what the short print cards are, what the inserts are, and all of that business as we go through. So Iron Fist and Luke Cage. So that's well, that's like an acetate um, kind of card. Again, no real title on there. It's got some lovely print lines. It might be scratches. I think it's a print line going through the middle of it. Not the most glamorous card, but still a bit of a sucker for the uh, I think it's acetate. Is it acetate? Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. It could be laminated. It could be a lamin. A lamin card. So we should get an autograph or a sketch or something like that. No idea why they are so sticky. There's Jessica Jones, a hero's insert. And then that looks like a 
purple parallel. And there's Daredevil by himself. One of my favourite Marvel characters of all time. Drop a comment on what your favourite character is. What's your favourite character in any of the modern shows or anything like that or films there's iron fist heroes card again i look like it could be a purple out the corner of my eye and then yeah. maybe that isn't a purple parallel maybe it's just the map changing from red to purple still stuck together this, this box must have been under some kind of um, weight or something like that I'll keep going one of our heroes and then two more base cards I'm not sure if there is any type of patch card in this could well be. Maybe we'll check the odds of the um, acetate or oh, laminate card. Looks like we've got another laminated card in here. This could be very cool. There's the base of our laminated card. Let's see what we've got. Yeah. Interesting. I can't remember the name of Scorny Weaver's. Um, character. And I think that's is that Electro or is it another I think it's another character who's holding the knife. But, uh, neck. Got to be honest, it has been a while since I watched the Netflix shows. I would like to watch them back actually. It'd be interesting to see what Disney does with Daredevil. If I remember right, so he had a cameo in uh, Spider Man, there's Luke Cage, Heroes, and in She Hulk, which I haven't actually watched. If it's any good, maybe leave a recommendation. So the laminate cards can't be the hits of our box. Something we've got here it might be another hero card. It is, and it is Daredevil himself. Matt Murdock. Which brings me on to something I would absolutely love to hit that autograph in here. Charlie Cox. It's got to be the main, one of the main hits. I think you can get dual autos and stuff like that as well in here. Not as good as hitting one from the Daredevil box as Iron Fist. There's a bit of a mullard. Matt Murdock. Yeah, not as, not as uh, rare or as expensive from this set as they are from the Daredevil set. But still, uh, I think we've got another laminate card. And is this one going to throw me off? And be a character I don't know. Um, no. It's a bit of the crew. Oh, that's because the base is behind. <laughs> so it is uh, Matt Murdock and the chap who was his trainer. But yeah, I can't remember his name. I probably should do. Cool, we've got a couple, uh, three of those now. Not too bad, look like uh, maybe halfway through the box. Let's keep going. Still yet to hit the box hit. Does that make any sense? Really? Still yet to hit. <laughs> Just waffling now. It's a full base pack. Is that a 
purple, is it a purple? I don't know, I, I don't know. And the cards don't seem any thicker and this, this might just be another base. I'll pop it over there just in case purple is a thing. Just in another base pack. I don't honestly know how big the set is. Well, I can't give you that information, but I'm sure if you were interested in getting the set, you could probably just Google it, which is what I'll probably do. It's all going wrong with the packs. Uh, what have we got here? I think we've got a, another character card. Who have we got? I've got Jessica Jones again, the heroes. A nice little insert, definitely more interesting than this massive pile of base. Now, this that's that's definitely thicker, so I'm going to save that one to the end, put it there. That's quite possibly got our hit in it. Probably just means if you want to know what it was, you can um, fast forward to the end. And oh, there's our there's our autograph, Misty Knight. That's not actually too bad. I will say she was a relatively big character from uh, Luke Cage. I will take that. That's a lovely auto as well. It is on the sticker. I'll take it, I'll take it. And there's another hit coming up in that bigger pack as well. I was not expecting that. Uh, where are we gonna put it? <laughs> okay, two more base cards. Stack those packs. We've got five left, a quarter of the box. Get ripping through these and then get on to the final card. Don't these I don't think these are in top of parallels. Iron Fist again insert and some more base cards. Which I've got to admit aren't particularly interesting. Ooh, what's this at the back? Looks like we are hitting some stuff now, so the hand. Oh, that is nice. Is that numbered or anything like that? No. That looks like an insert, probably short print. Pop that uh, in that pile with the other characters. And finish off these last three packs before we get into the patch cards. What have we got here? This is annoying, but I have to keep that and we've got Luke Cage again two more packs and a lovely stack of empty packets there's a blue some sort of blue card in here and another character card Mount Murdoch and oh no it's purple it's one of these weird purple. I think they are just base. I'll have a look uh, very quickly. Does it sound the back of the pack? God, this is just too many, too too many things on here um, to actually find out what they are. So I'll have a look afterwards. Maybe I'll pop it in the pop it in as a comment or something like that. Exactly what those odds are. And then we've got our last laminated card. So if you get four, they must be like one in five. We've got a new cage again. Cool, pop that down there, that will get sleeved. And then more base cards. Nice little stack of base there. So what have we got in this thick pack? I can open it up. There is a 
a lovely chunky card in the middle of this. It's, uh, it's going to be some kind of patch, I would have thought. I'll take the uh, top card off. It's foggy. Is that the first foggy Nelson we've seen? A couple more base. And let's do a bit of a reveal if we can. It is Jessica Jones and it's an F patch. It's cool. There's, I think there's quite a lot of these actually to make up whatever word they are. Nobody would be F. Is he going to be? Might be an, it might be an absolute idiot. Um, Fist, Iron Fist, maybe, yes. The F for Fist. There we go. So, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, lovely patch card. Not entirely sure if these are parallels, but I will pop in a comment if they are. Uh, we got some lovely stack of character cards, and we've got the hand one there. There we go. There's our hits. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all soon.